Hello guys, my name is Dave and today we'll be doing, well, we'll be making a thumbnail, a cool custom thumbnail, um, which I used on my recent video, I'll try and get it up now. That one there, I don't know if you can see it, but you'll see if you're on my channel anyway. So we'll be making one like that. Um, and before we get started, I might need to make a few cuts because I've had a bit of a bad throat today. So, well, as I talk more, I get more and more. Well, I start to sound more and more like Batman, so, yeah, I might have to make a few cuts. But anyway, before we get started, you're going to need some 3D text. I've got a tutorial on how to make this. So, yeah, you're going to want to do that and get whatever text you need, like survival games or anything like that. Or, like, mini games, like i done. Or just, like, Let's Play or just your name, even. Anything like that. And then you're going to want to get your Minecraft character, if you want to use that. But if you're not making one for Minecraft, you obviously don't have to use your Minecraft character. You can use like a, a logo of the game or something, I don't know. So yeah, we're going to first open up Photoshop. And, oh yeah, and there will be links to um, all the stuff you'll need in the description. So just open up Photoshop, click File, and then New, and then copy these settings, and click OK. So you're gonna need a you're gonna need a background as well. You can Google it or you can have a look at my tutorial on how to make one like that. So just drag it in, then scale it. I wouldn't scale it up. I'd try and get one that fits because if you scale it up, it loses quality. Then click the this little tick thing there. And then you're going to need a screenshot from the game that you're going to make this for. Say, well, it doesn't even have to be a game, but in this case it's going to be Minecraft. So I'm going to use this one. And then you can scale it down a little bit, if you want that is. I'm going to hold shift to make it scale properly. Scale it down a little bit. Uh, actually, a little bit bigger than that. Um, a little bit bigger. I'll do. So just place it like that. And then you want to get your pen tool. And then make sure you don't click anywhere outside of the screenshot. So make sure it's inside the screenshot. So just, you can start anyway. Bring yourself from there. Just make little points. You can do it randomly. You can do it to you uh, well how you like it anyway. I'm just gonna go around and do it quickly and randomly just because it's a tutorial. And you don't have to look the best. So just go all the way around. And then once you get to the your first point, just click on it. And then it should join them up. Go all the way around. Come on, hurry up. Hurry up. Okay, so we're almost there now. And then on the last point, just click it. And then it's all joined up now. So you can... Drag your screenshot underneath the background, then click on selection, then copy these selection settings or whatever you want to call them, then click OK. So then you want to click on your background, and then get a rubber, and then just click, then click OK, and you can rub out the, the bits that we don't need. OK, so I did notice I had to make a cut by. Uh, once you've done that, click Control D, and then you can go on your background then, and then right click on it, click Blend in Options, and tick Drop Shadow, you can copy these settings if you want, or you can make your own up. So then click OK once you've done that, and now we just need to add the some text and some stuff like that. So, open up your folder where you've saved your text, or your player even, you can put that in first actually. I'm just going to get him, I know, right click on him, and flip horizontal, that's just because I want to put him on this side. So I'm going to put him like that, you, you can scale it up or down if you really need to. Yeah, I'm going to scale it down actually. Oh, got a bit fat. Okay, scale it down. And then just place it wherever you want, you don't have to place it over that side obviously. Then just right click on him, blend in options drop shadow and I'm gonna edit these settings a little bit 
then you can copy that if you want. Click OK. Um, and then next is the text. We're going to add some different effects and stuff to this text as well, just to make it look that much better. But I'm not going to use mini games this time, I'm just going to do survival games. Okay, so once you've got your, um, your text in your Photoshop document, you can scale it up or down. You might want it like ah, you might not. I don't think you will. Make sure you're holding shift as well. Ooh, get away. Yeah, make sure you're holding shift as well, otherwise... Oh, come on. Don't be like this. Okay, just gonna drag it back in. Okay, so... Make sure you're holding shift, otherwise you might go like that. And we don't want it to go like that. Well, unless you do, obviously. And then just scale it down to the size you want. I'm gonna put him... Really, that looks good. Click the tick. And then we can add a texture. So, if you got my um, GFX pack, you should have textures in there. You'll have, well, you'll have all these anyway, in that pack. So then, just just size the um, texture down to cover your text. And then click this. And then make sure the texture layer, which is 12 in this case, is above your text layer, then right click on the texture layer and create a clipping mask. So we got that. And then go on click on where it says normal and then click on overlay. Then I'm gonna bring the opacity down a bit as well. So I think yes that looks good. So now we're just gonna wanna add some say yeah we'll add the the gradient thing, whatever you call it. So, click on these two, click on one, shift click on the other one, then press Control E to um, merge them, and right click on it, come blend in options, and gradient overlay. Then click on this, make sure it's selected, and go on click by it, click on that thingy, and then bring the white bit down tell you how you want it. I normally try and get the gradient halfway over the bottom text. So then click on OK. And OK. We've, got a, we've added a little bit to that now. OK, so now that we've got that, we're just going to want to add... We can add some lightning, if you want, that is. And if you got my pack, you're going to want to add some lightning. So where is the, where the light? There you go. And add some lightning. I'm just gonna add one, you can add as many as you want. And then click the tick, and then that looks cool. So I'm gonna leave that. But um, you can see these like where it cuts off, the picture does. So what I normally do is get the rubber and click OK. But bring the make sure the softness, well the hardness is down to zero, and just click near it, and it like fades it out. Makes it look better. So just go around and do that until you're happy. And then with my my um thumbnail I used a plugin, I think, called Magic Bullet Locks. So you can get that if you look on YouTube on it together. Or if you go on this site. But it's easy to look on YouTube I think. Because I can't remember the site name. Yeah, but you can get it and then go on locks. I'll show you a different way in a minute if you haven't got this. So you click on bullet, magic bullet locks. Oh, we're on the we're in the wrong way. Yes, we are. So you click. Make sure you click off it. Then filter. No. What am I doing? Ah, oh, right. I know. Sorry about this. So make sure they're all grouped, except the lightning one. Then press Control E. So select them all. Press Control E. And then you want to go in your filter on your magic bullet locks. And then you can. Go on Lux. Then go on Cinematic. So it will be like this. Something like that. Find Cinematic. And go on Blockbuster. If you want it to look like mine, you can obviously go through and select different ones. But I like the Blockbuster one. So we're waiting for it to finish up now. Okay, so we've got that. And that's it, if you just want to use the magic bullet locks, 
But if you haven't got that and don't want to download it, I've just undone what I just did. So still group it, and then you're going to want to go on curves. This probably won't look as good as the magic, but it looks so. So just pry up a little bit, the brightness and the darkness down a little bit. Yeah, that looks about right. Um, you could add some exposure if you really want. Or you could darken it. It's, it's really up to you. You can play about with all these. I'm gonna make it like that. And you could you could add some other stuff as well. Um, let's try this. I'm just playing about with it now. Let's just give it a tint. Change it all different colors. Ooh, disco, 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 disco. Okay, sorry. I'm gonna delete that one actually. Okay, so that's it with the curves and the exposure. So yeah, that's how you, well that's how I made mine, but I used the magic bullet looks way, not this way. But I've already explained that anyway. So then you just go file, save as. Oh no, wait, 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 wait. There is, you can add the, like, hashtag number one for an episode. So if you want to do that, just go on text. And then go on hashtag one or hashtag whatever. I'm gonna change this one font to King of the Hill. Let me just find it. Uh, there it is. Then highlight your font and change it to whatever size. I'm gonna keep it at 100 though. I'm gonna probably keep it white as well. Just move it to the position that you want. Then right click on it over here. Blending options. Um, you can drop shadow. And stroke um, gradient overlay as well if you want. I'm gonna put a, put a red overlay on this. So just you don't have to change it this time, just click on that. I accidentally double clicked. But uh, go on the black, Oop. click on it, and then just change the color. And click OK. I'm gonna change the white actually as well. Change it to a darker white, a darker red. I mean, okay, that looks good. I think. Then you can leave it like that if you want, or you can mess about with it a bit more. Put it in the corner somewhere, and then that's it. And then you want to go and save, save as, and then I save it as a JPEG, and also one of them, as you can see. So where is it? I'm just gonna save it as a JPEG though. These are all my thumbnails. Uh, you can name it Thumb Thumb One or the title like some web games or something. Just save it to your desktop. F follow these settings and click OK. Then you can there well then you're done really. This is it. Yeah, so that's the thumbnail and that's the tutorial done with. So I hope you enjoyed that and I hope it helped anyway. <laughs> okay, yeah. So if you like this video, leave a like, comment, or subscribe. I'll be doing more tutorials hopefully. Although I am running out of ideas, so if you got any ideas, leave a comment down below and I will make sure I do them if I know what to do with that is. But yeah, hope you're all having a good day and I'll see you in the next one.